Hey, my name is Mortez Ibrahimi and this is the introduction of our new course, Texturing and Lighting in Blender. This is an extensive video guide for those who want to learn ins and outs of texturing and lighting in Blender to make everything look more professional and as well cinematic. For a long time, texturing and lighting has been one of the constant competition for the quality output in CG industry. I can safely guess that the most common problems that we all have encountered with texturing and lighting are why I get a stretchy result in my UV map. No matter what I do with my lights, it just looks flat. And the problem is that I have no idea why. I believe that there is a simple and detailed texturing and lighting formula in this course. And if you use more or some of the boxes in this list, it will immediately improve the result. You know things like adding more sim on that part and not on that part to be as distortion free as possible. This means that a texture won't look stretched or pinched when applied into the model. UV unwrap model by this UV mapping and not by that UV mapping. Place the key light on that side and not on that side, the full depth into it, and a lot more. It's a list of techniques that must be known to see the best result on the render image. Unfortunately, everyone can learn this quickly. Actually, that's what this course is all about. Welcome to texturing and cinematic lighting in Blender, a premium course that offers a step-by-step -step guide for texturing and setting up a dramatic lighting in Blender for pretty much anything using cycles. Let me walk you through the contents now. In the first chapter, we will look at the creating some materials using PPR textures to store them in the assets library to assign them later on the models. After mixing two materials, we drop in on texture painting tab in Blender and we will get to know some of the painting tools. Along the way, we will be talking about the basic UV wrapping and texturing. The second chapter will be all about UV unwrapping from a cube to a bit complex model. Answers to questions like what is UV map? Where I should add the mark scene to get best UV map? In the third chapter, we continue texturing the rest of our models, but here we will focus a little bit more on opening the UV. In the fourth chapter, we will talk about hand painting. By creating our good UV map and mixing materials together, we can easily paint on building. Paint some parts bricks and some parts another material. Let's do the same thing with the warehouse. In the chapter 5, we will add further life to our scene. First, by adding a single camera and manipulating its basic setting, like EV and cycle render engines, resolution and color management. It's not finished yet. In shading, we tweak materials for adding a final magical node to them to see the texture more beautiful than before. In the sixth chapter, we will have a look at a still life lighting from love with Cycle, a Linder most realistic render engine. In fact, giving life to our scene starts in this section. We we'll start from scratch and we will build our setup step by step. We go from darkness to light by adding our first key light. We place it somewhere that kills flatness and bring the depth to fill our environment three-dimensional. Along the way, we will talk about crucial lights such as direction, softness, and fall off. And as well, we will take help of blockers to make our scene even more professional. Later, I will talk about camera depth of field, and after adding our old friend Fog, we are going to adjust the camera setting for render image. And finally, in the last chapter, we are going to add some filters in the Blender Compositing tab to make our still image even more professional and as well cinematic. After adding all filters, we make them a group for using whenever we need them. All the model and blender scene that are needed for following along the videos come along with the course and we will be able for downloading. So let me answer to this question. Is this course for me? I actually try to teach everything step by step so that there is no need to watch a beginner course. But if you just begun using blender, then I would recommend you to watch a beginner course or at least watch the first part of making this castle or modeling this castle which is for beginners to get yourself acquainted so if you get stuck the artist study hopefully will help you to get unstuck if you have any question feel free to reach out to me by email or whatever works for you and really any kind of question or any kind of feedback is always appreciated thank you very much and welcome 
Hey, my name is Murtaza from For a Long Time Tech, For a Long Time Texturing and Texturing and Lighting in Blender. In Blender.